How's up y'all, it's poppin' this D. So today is Halloween and a lot of y'all wanted me to react to some scary stuff for the holiday. So here we are. We're gonna react to quite a few short horror films and uh, see what these are like. I asked y'all in the community post which short horror films I should watch and y'all gave me a lot of options. So I just picked like the top voted ones. Um, so we got quite a few we reacting to today. We got Man Woods, Don't Look Away, The Birch, door in the woods and make me a sandwich listen when this dude left this comment i was low-key about to block him i'm like oh you got me fucked up you trying to be on some sexy shit so i'm gonna make you a sandwich but i looked it up and i was like oh <laughs> like this is an actual short horror film so we're gonna start with this one because i feel like it's one of the shortest so yeah let's see uh this dude's gonna make him a sandwich let's watch where's my sandwich here you are dear just the way you like it girl this what you've been dealing with for this many years with his crusty ass, making him sandwiches, sis. Mm. Why you knitting in the closet? This is already a horror film. This is tragic. Oh, he want another one already. This is weird. Come on, hurry up in there. <laughs> Bitch, you put dishwashing liquid? I'm dead. This is a comedy. Yes, you eat that soap. So your trifling ass. Why you ain't saying this thing? A robot or something. This ain't making sense. You know damn well you taste that soap, and now you taste this cat shit. What the fuck is this, y'all? This had a good amount of upvotes as well. Um. What is it, dear? Another sandwich? Okay, that was that was dark. <laughs> I was I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that in. Her ass is crazy as shit. Why are you giving this dead man all these goddamn sandwiches? Maybe like he was beating her ass clearly because he's abusive and like psychologically she's fucked up. She's like, yeah, I'm about to deliver your ass these sandwiches. You did, but I'm about to, <laughs> about to give you all these sandwiches. Oh, that, was, that was weird. But okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. At first I was concerned. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one is don't look away. Savannah, quit doing your makeup and do what Dad told you to do. I'm not mowing the lawn, Jim. But Mom's visiting and Dad wants the house spick and span. Yeah, well, I already vacuumed both our rooms, so how about you get some shit done? Period. Hey. Hey. Here, bitch. You know, you're becoming a lot like mom, right? Always slamming doors in men's faces. Go away! 
All right, well, whatever. Dad's gonna be home soon. It's gonna rain in a few minutes, so you're too late anyway. Idiot. supposed to get here again? About 4 30, but knowing her, she'll probably be early. Okay, because there's a weird man standing outside our window staring at me. A man? What does he look like? Um, he's like wearing a dirty suit with like a black tie and he has like a bag over his head with She's chains. About this. He looks really creepy. And it's just staring at you? Not moving or anything? Uh-huh. Savannah, listen to me. Don't look away. Okay, do not leave that spot. I will be home in 10 minutes. Wait, what's going to happen? Is something bad going to happen Sweet, if I don't? Just listen to me and do not look away from it. Tell your brother to lock the doors. I'll be there soon. What type of instructions is that? Out of my what? Yo, Savannah. You got my phone charger? Jim! Yeah, I'm here. Listen to me very carefully. Yo. Jim, lock all the doors in the house now. Wow, you really don't want to know. Jim, just shut up and lock all the doors in the house. Why? What are you doing? Yeah, no, 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 no. Idiot. Oh, what the hell is that? You can see it too? Yeah. Could be super. Now he can't look away. Staring at me. But his dumb ass won't look away. Whatever you do, don't look away. <laughs> Why? Because Dad called and I told him about it, and that's what he said. Don't look away. He didn't explain why. Okay, wait. So what's going on? I don't know, okay? Just... Stay here. I'm gonna go lock all the doors. Well, wait, aren't you supposed to stay here and look at it? I think if one of us is looking at it, it's fine. Just Girl, how the fuck do you know? Here. Now you. Bye. Because I don't trust you. He about to be playing video games some stupid shit. I don't know. Is it still there? Yep. And nothing's changed? I'm still staring at it, aren't I? You stupid asshole! I told you not to look away! I didn't look away. Yes, you did! Otherwise, it would still be there! It is still there! Why do you have to lie to me all the time? Savannah, I'm not lying to you. It is still there for me. Bitch, you shouldn't have looked away. You fucked up. Maybe you see it, but I don't. No, he about to come kill your ass. Looked away. Setting your own rules. Where did it go? Bitch, you. <laughs> what? What? It's in there! It's in there! It's in there! Don't try to get him to look away so he can uh, die too. Okay. When is that gonna get here? Savannah? Savannah, talk to me here. Jesus? I can't move. What if it isn't able to see us at all? What, you mean like shut its eyes? I have tape in my drawer. Okay. She said, Hot, what? <laughs> he bought the girl of you. Now you think you can look away? Well, did it work? I don't know. Is it still out there for you? Yes. Okay, don't look away from yours. I'm calling Dad. Okay. <laughs>
couldn't tell them to do that. Oh my god. Dad, what the hell was that? What's going on? I'm sorry, sweetie. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. No, you're right. telling me right now. Tomorrow. I don't even know how to explain it. It all started when I first met your mother. It followed us, even after you two were born. I tried to ignore it, but now it's going after you. Shit, shit, shit! What? What, it's not there? What's not there? No. The... The one that I was looking at. I had to look away when it attacked her. You, I had to. You told me there was only one. Yes, when Jim went to go look at it too, I told him not to look away while I went to go lock all the doors, and he never looked away. And then it showed up in here? Yes! When you look away, it gets closer. Because Jim was watching him, when you left, it made another. So there's another one? Where? Your mother's here. Bitch, that's it. Oh, I don't like that ending. That ending was trash. Um, that one could have been better. I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I feel like they could have um did something more interesting with the ending. I hate a decent build up and then a flat ending, and that's what that last one just gave me. But sure, let's look at Man in the Woods. And then we'll do door in the woods. There's a man in the woods. You know what, I mean? what a spectacle. Before the story started, this school was still respectable. My students used to skip down the hill to the honeysuckle, pluck a couple, and collect their nectar till they picked their fill. Except one obnoxious kid, Sid who just watched them eat the flowers while he seethed and scowled because he couldn't bear to share his sweet treats throughout our recess hour. I remember Sid saying, There's a man in the woods. That's how the rumors began. Of course, Sid had spotted him first. The poor kids. He got him immersed in a spiel about a serial killer whose gun barrel glint hints at peril. A visit to the nurse? Or worse, a hearse waiting just beyond the dale. The children saw him everywhere. Look, over there. That man had bad manners. We, we swear, and, and crazy yellow eyes. We saw something rusty. His shotgun, it must be. I saw a lady severed thigh. Trust me, every word I heard was absurd. Yet each day, Sid would stray down way past the playground. Who else was brave enough to save us from the killer's next plot? The rest of the lot would stop back at the blacktop, sure that any closer they were bound to be found deep in the woods, left to rot. I pleaded for the kids to think and learn to be mature, but after a few more rumors doomed by attempts to prove the school was secure, their fear was undeterred, and when the buses drove them all home, the parents finally heard. Everything just blew up. I received a wall of emails and calls full of shrieks, wails, and all from terrified families who'd heard word of the murderer and didn't like my lack of action at all. What was I supposed to do? Comb the whole forest? Yeah, right. Would you? That means I didn't care? I didn't That's mean. not fair. The stories that worried you weren't true. Of course I would feel regret had there been a real threat and I ignored it. And some poor kid got kidnapped while the kids were napping. But you couldn't admit that your good little kid would formulate a fib so he ignored what I said. Your little angels could never cook up such incredible creations. An overactive imagination maybe, but my kid could never lie. How dare I? Accuse a child of being dishonest? Just monstrous. 
the parents were displeased, and when the PTA took action, they dismissed me from the classroom. Why, they knew what was best for their kids. Do you know how difficult it is to get a job when a bitter mom slatters your rep with child neglect from the outset? Now who's in control of your classes? Single file lines. Single file lines. Little file swine. A killer by the pines. Really? Are you blind? Will you find your spines? See, a child decides to fill our minds with lies, and the next thing you see is people treating me like I've committed crime. I was in my prime. Those kids were lucky to have me. Do you see what you did? But I can play along. I can be good. Do you hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. That was creepy. His storytelling really added to, you know, this little short animated movie. It made it even more creepy. But that one was okay. Let's move on to the door in the woods. Well, I don't like the dislike on this one. She knows where she's going, Ben. Broods go back in the hole and spare the. There's always some little badass kids finding some shit they ain't supposed to find. Should we really be doing this? There's a reason the story tells us to stay away from it, right? Carrie's dad is in the high order, Ben. I think she would know. Carrie. Probably just the story, Ben. Don't be your pants again. <laughs> Tell them all your business. Whoa. This reminds me of the show I was watching. Uh, what was it called? Who's going to open it? It was a door in the woods, too. Something. Okay. A door or something like that. All these kids, I don't like none of them. They annoying. Whoa. Well, the those three are annoying. Are you going to open it? They talking all that shit, but they scary ass is hella feet behind him. Y'all just gonna stand there so y'all get eight to Run, little baby kids. Oh, 
Like this, what is going on? Something like Robert's in town. Michael, Michael, where have you been? Yeah, what the fuck? Look at these symbols on it. What's on your face? They all got on uniforms. What was that? What is going on? Y'all some weirdos in a cold or something. close the door like he can't get through the door. You just wasting time show them ass. about them. Why would y'all go to the woods where his house at? Or maybe on the other side of the door it's a uh, freedom. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping it's something uh, more interesting because I'm not impressed so far. I mean, it's not bad, but it's like, okay. I 
Why he got a red? I need answers. Come on, this way. I mean, she get what she get. She shouldn't let him out. Well, she made the other little boy let him out. I told you to keep watch, Carrie. What are you doing, Dad? This is not something you understand, Carrie. But we in the colony have a job to do. What are you doing, Dad? We are the only ones that can protect the world from the door. You betrayed your people. But you can still make this right. Oh, I'm no, no. no, sorry, Carrie. It's got to be done. Brute, and brute, get back in your hole, has spirit of it. She gonna sit here with her fucking one arm. Girl, fuck out of here. Put the lock on at the very least. Really? I mean, this was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I would have liked a different ending. I feel like the ending fell flat once again. And that's where a lot of horror movies uh, suffer is that, you know, they don't know how to tie everything together for some reason. Um, I'm really critical of horror movies, actually, because it is one of my favorite genres. Ironically enough, <laughs> you know, even though I'm scary as fuck, I still really like horror movies. So I've seen a lot of horror movies and a lot of them are very basic, very mediocre, really repetitive. Some are, you know, really predictable. So it's hard to get horror right. It really is. Or maybe just for me, because I, like I said, I watch a lot of horror movies. So, you know, I personally have really high standards when it comes to horror movies. But these all were, they were okay. I mean, nothing really blew me away. I really liked the first one the best, to be honest. The Make Me a Sandwich one had a um, an interesting twist. You got to have a good twist. That's so important. You got some nice little build up and you, you got to tie it all together properly. And I feel like that's what the first uh, short horror film did right. Um, these other ones were just, they were okay. Oh, Don't Look Away was decent, but... They didn't tie that together well. I didn't like how that ended either. It was a very flat, boring ending. 
uh, Man in the Woods. Oh, that animated one. That one was just okay. I mean, I did like his storytelling ability, so he he does get a get a plus for that. But you know, nothing like memorable. Nothing that I would be like. Oh, you better go watch that Man in the Woods. Um. Oh, I got one more. The Birch. How long is this video? Let's watch it. Let's let's watch the Birch. <laughs> like the woods. That's not true. I got another movie on the side. Listen. Like the in the woods. You can hear its voice. It's a tortured heart. You can feel it. so dramatic with bullies. I ain't never seen nobody get bullied like this in my life. Kill that bully. Just as she did for me. Look for her mark in the forest. I shall come. He who breaks me shall come undone. He who makes me, I shall come. He who breaks me shall come undone. blood all over his clothes so i'm assuming that he did the murder you know when she just assisted him maybe they did it together i'm not exactly sure but it was decent you know it was cool <laughs> you know like i said uh, uh, my, my 
my standards are just high when it comes to horror just because it's just done wrong so much and I really really like this genre so I'm always looking for like really really scary really effective horror movies but you know they, they fall short most of the time they just do but I mean I enjoyed all of these they weren't bad at all I can't really complain about any of them per se um but yeah they were just decent for the most part except make me a sandwich I like that one <laughs> anyway y'all let me know what y'all thought about all these horror films these short horror films it's gonna be a long video so hopefully y'all enjoyed but yeah I'll see y'all in the next video